my arm was there, I'd apply the wax and then just ta-da! What's something you hate? Ooh. 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 Kind of think in terms of like the future of the channel and things that I'm gonna make videos on. Hi guys, I'm Elise. So as promised, here is the 5,000 subscriber Q&A special. Hopefully you'll get to know me a little bit better after this. Where are you from? So I'm from London, born and raised, but if you're asking where I'm from, um, I'm Jamaican and Bayesian. My mom's side of the family is Jamaican and my dad's side is Bayesian. <laughs> what is your accent? I probably get like the most comments about my voice and how I talk. <laughs> you guys are just so sweet about every time I say something. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the British accent or what, but um, that is what my accent is. I would say it's kind of, I mean, I would say it was kind of typical London, British type of accent. What's your hair type? <laughs> um, I'd say I'm between like 3C and 4A. My hair used to be a looser curl texture, but it's definitely a lot tighter now that it's healthier. Yeah, so between 3C and 4A. Um, what do you do to relax slash your kind of interest? So I like watching anime. Like when I say I watch anime, I'm not a casual viewer. <laughs> I have devoted years to my life of watching anime. The little chibi that you see at the end that jumps and is happy when you subscribe, which by the way, you should definitely do with the notifications bell. That little jump in chibi, that was the first um, animation that I'd ever done. I don't know, it just really appeals to me. I just love it as a medium. And um, I think anime in particular, just because of the breadth of stories that are explored. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one sister. She's a couple years older than me, so we're pretty close in age and um, she's the best. <laughs> we don't look alike at all, but we sound very similar. You've probably never seen her, but you might have like sometimes heard her in the background. <laughs> you the first in your family to go vegan. Oh, you must be an OG if you know that I'm like vegan. I don't really talk about it as much anymore, but I'm plant-based and when I decided to go plant-based for health reasons, my mom was like very keen. She jumped on it too. So the two of us are still plant-based, but my sister, she'd actually been vegetarian for like years I think the biggest thing was like the dairy the cheese the that's the type of stuff that like I used to miss quite a lot meat I was okay giving up or, although like a good like don't get me wrong like a good curry goat like chicken like you know roasted or oven baked salmon like ooh. Why am I talking about food? Oh, I actually I actually had a story time about me being vegan on my channel. I'll probably link it here. What is your favorite cocktail? Anything with rum. <laughs> What was your worst DIY? Oh, I don't know if it was my worst DIY, but I would say it, I made like a sugar scrub. No, not sugar scrub. I made um, sugar wax, sugaring. That's like a natural way to wax yourself by using sugar, water, and a little bit of lemon juice. And you kind of make it into a kind of sticky toffee and you use that to wax yourself. For the life of me, I, I could not. <laughs> I just could not wax myself. The camera was in focus, my arm was there, I'd apply the wax and then just my arm was like, it was horrible. I was squealing with pain. Like I still have like the footage, but I, I can't use it because like all you see is me, my arms flailing around and just, yeah. So that was probably my worst DIY simply because I couldn't even finish the video, but it does work. It's just, I, I can't wax myself on camera. <laughs> Tell us something we don't know about me or just the world. I'm, I'm gonna guess that's about me. <laughs> Um, I actually wear glasses. Hi. <laughs> so as you can see, I actually wear glasses. Most of the time if I'm editing or like doing anything, I'm usually wearing glasses. Yeah, that's something you don't know about me. I wear glasses. <laughs> Do you travel? <laughs> that's for someone who does not follow me on Instagram because no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like flying, but I do love the destinations I go to after I've managed to fly somewhere. What's something you hate? Ooh, hate. Hate is a strong word. Um, one of the only things that I would reserve absolute hate for is flies. Any, any sort of, any sort of insect, small bug thing just creeps me out. I hate it, but flies are like the worst because that horrible sound they make. You know when it, like a fly buzzes past your ear and it's like, Ugh. oh, there is nothing worse than when you open the window to get some air and a fly flies in and it's just, uh, honestly, it could give me a heart attack. I absolutely 100% hate flies. Who films your videos? Who films my videos? Oh, it's me, myself and my tripod. <laughs> Um, that's usually why I like it's a very static angle. So I film my videos myself. Um, I just kind of set up a tripod and just do in front of it. What do you edit your videos on? Final Cut Pro, 
so um, I have a MacBook, so it just made sense to use iMovie when I got started. Having a good video editing software is nice, but it's definitely not essential. If you focus on kind of capturing good footage in the first place, the less you need to do in terms of the edit. So iMovie was just fine, actually. It was only when I had like loftier ambitions. <laughs> in terms of like how much detail I wanted to show you guys and like how I put my information together and how I structured my videos that um, I then upgraded to Final Cut Pro. Why did you start a YouTube channel? I actually used to suffer from eczema when I was younger, severe eczema for like <laughs> a long time. So if I had some of the DIYs that I make now, if I was aware that that was even possible, I think anyone who has like any sort of skin condition um, knows how difficult it is to pinpoint what might be trigger ingredients for you when if you buy a cream there's like 50 different ingredients and half of them you can't even pronounce. I would have loved to have seen or known someone who was going through something that I was going through and could have helped me and I think representation is really important so I looked to YouTube and I was like wow if I was on YouTube of a person like me going through what I was going through was on YouTube, I would have watched and I would have loved that information. Whenever it comes to beauty and skin, you know, we just trust in companies that they're going to sell us things that are safe and that work well. And that's not always the case. And then, you know, even if you don't make all the DIYs that I teach, it's just the mere fact that you know it's possible to be able to do something like that. It gives you options. Obviously, still go to the doctors if you do have skin conditions, they're really important. This is not a substitute for medical advice. But I think finding someone you can trust that is going to do the research, that is going to tell you how to do it properly, being able to make very stripped back, all natural skincare ingredients, you know exactly what's in it. And it's just, it's kind of the first step to having independence when it comes to looking after your skin. And I just want to share that with people. So <laughs> that's a really long and rambly answer. But yeah, that's kind of why it wasn't initially why I started my YouTube channel, but that is definitely why I continue to make videos on YouTube. On that note, I'm really excited to announce the launch of my website, holalise.com. Ta-da! <laughs> I feel like I could have done a better job at showing it to you guys, but essentially this is the new website which I've launched. I say new, but it's pretty much the only website I've ever owned. You'll have access to the full recipe, info on ingredients, customizations, and I've put the instructions near the top, so you're not out here scrolling for days trying to find them. <laughs> Just saying. I've worked really hard to make this site from scratch, so do read through the articles because you'll find extra knowledge and juicy tips. But what I'm really excited about is that I've launched a formula calculator. Some of the biggest worries I hear when it comes to like the recipes that I make is like troubles with scaling them. So if you want to make more, if you want to make less, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky with some of these ingredients to kind of um, work out how much you should be putting in. So the formula calculator is going to have already all of my ingredients are going to be plumbed in. So say for like my face moisturizer, all of those ingredients are already plumbed in. And so you just need to type up at the top how much you want to make. You can even change it from like imperial to metric because I know <laughs> even though you really should use grams because it's more accurate. I know my US cousins out there might not want to use grams so you can actually change the measurement amount and it will show you exactly how much you need to put of each ingredient. To find the formula calculators you can follow the link at the bottom of a recipe box or at the top of the website you'll see a formulas tab. Click that and it will take you straight to all the calculators that correspond to DIYs I've released. From here you can get back to the main article by clicking the step-by-step -step recipe link. For me, it was really important to be able to provide free information for you guys so that you can try these things out for yourself. For all the videos that I've already put out, I'm going to add like supplementary information on the website about those as well. Because now that I've had a chance to kind of like listen to some of your questions or where like there are things you didn't understand or maybe things I just didn't think about when I made the video, the website is just an extension of that. It's going to have even more DIYs on there. And the whole point is that it will have tools that will help you figure things out by yourself as well. So definitely do check that out if you're interested. So sorry about the lack of continuity. These are all shot in like the same time, but like the sun keeps chasing me around the living room and like I got hot, so my hair's in a bun now. Speaking of transformations, just in terms of my future plans for the channel. So sometimes I get asked questions about pricing or where I get my products from or things like um, how to get the most of a particular product or what I would recommend buying and not buying. And typically I don't really talk about those things in my DIYs. I am trying to kind of respond to that in terms of the types of videos that I pull out so I'll definitely still continue to do DIYs but I am just kind of looking forward to making different types of videos as well still around natural hair care and skincare of course but trying to think in terms of like the future of the channel and things that I'm going to make videos on if you guys are interested in kind of just more things related to that and getting into a little bit more in depth about particular ingredients and other knowledge of that world definitely do let me know because I am really open to kind of exploring and expanding the type of content that I do on this channel. Do you have a boyfriend?
yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I've loved filming this Q&A. Here's hoping we'll do another one at 10K.